friend of Anna's. She is joining us now to talk more about her friend's disappearance. Uh, let's begin there with her husband, Sana, and his involvement in his estranged wife's investigation. Um, how does that comment from the attorney land with you? Do you have any concerns about the husband at this point? Hello, um, thank you so much for um, having me and uh, and helping. Uh, I just know uh, what he told me. I had contact with him uh, a few days after we learned that Anna was missing in Spain. Uh, I wanna say that on the February 4th, February 5th. I also spoke to him a couple of days into that week uh, and I spoke to him on February 7th. And he told us, uh, me and uh, his family, that he was in Fort Lauderdale. I asked him to join me in the search effort for his wife. I, I went to Madrid myself on February 8th, and I spoke to him the day before, and I asked him to, to come and join me in Madrid and see what we could do to, to, to find Anna and to help in any way we, we could. Uh, I, le I later uh, spoke to him uh, that Friday, uh, where he told me that he had uh, gone to Serbia. So uh, I'm very too confused to, to the statement by his uh, lawyer yesterday uh, that he's been in Serbia uh, the whole time. I, 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 I'm confused to that. Um, okay, message. let's back up here a moment then. Why did he say he did not want to go to Madrid, Madrid when you gave him that invitation? What was his reasoning? Uh, he just said to me that he didn't feel that there was anything that he could do. I, I asked him and I did express to him that I was very disappointed. Uh, when I spoke to him that Friday uh, and he told me that he was in Serbia, I did speak to him about that. I, I, I was very disappointed that he didn't that he didn't come. But his uh, opinion at the time was that he didn't feel that he there was anything that he could do in Madrid. Okay. And what is he doing in Serbia? What is his connection there? Uh, I he's originally from there, uh, from what I know, but what he's doing there at this time, I, I, I don't know. I, ha I have no idea. Uh, I have also just met uh, met him one time in my life, so I don't know, David. Uh, I have met him one time uh, in the beginning of last year uh, when Anna and I, and I first made friends. Uh, I met him and spoke with him, and we spent an afternoon at their home in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so you traveled to Madrid looking for your friend, Anna. What did you find there? Um, how much information were you able to glean from authorities? Uh, not much information. Uh, when I got there uh, on February uh, 8th, that Thursday, uh, it was almost uh, a week uh, that she had been uh, gone. And I spoke to the police that Friday, and they told me that the judge had denied their request for uh, entering her apartment and her uh, phone records, uh, saying that she could have left on her own. She's a missing person, and that it wasn't ruled out that she could have left on her own, uh, even though that we learned that this man uh, with a helmet sprayed the surveillance cameras in her building and the messages that was sent from her phone the day after uh, contained very strange information and false information as well, uh, because the message said that she had met a man the day before, you know, referring to Friday the 2nd. But she spoke to friends up until 10 p.m. that night and didn't mention to anyone that she had met someone that day. So um, that's, that's what happened. This all, all uncharacteristic of your friend based on the other friends who have come forward and shared, including yourself. Do you have any doubt in your mind that there is a foul play involved in Anna's disappearance right now? No, no, I have no doubt that there's foul play involved in her disappearance. Sana Romo, uh, please stay in touch with us as we will with you as we bring more attention thank to you. Anna's missing case um, here and abroad. We thank you for your time, and I'm sorry that you and, and all thank of her friends and family are going through this. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.